Thanks, Jan. A huge drop on Wall Street. The Dow is in a ditch, to say the least. Triple-digit losses pretty much from the opening bell. And here's how it ended, down more than four, 512 points. And we have been on a major losing streak. Dan DeRose at the big board now watching the numbers. Dan? Denise, the sad part about today is we just gave up everything that we had earned over 2011 in the Dow. We had seen a nice climb, but it's just gone. I want to take a look at this. This is the past five years in the Dow right here. This is when we were all living high. Over 14,000 is where the Dow was. And then, of course, the housing market fell. And then we got to here. This is uh, 2009. We hit rock bottom when we were at just over 7,000 on the market. We've seen a nice steady increase all the way up to where we are now at uh, 12. That Well, we're at 11,000 today uh, is the mark. Uh, when we have a big uh, event like we had today where we lose more than 500 points, we like to bring in the experts. I've got with me Chris Katurchak, your VP of Strategic Wealth Partners in Seven Hills. On a day like today when we see movement like that, I'm assuming mm. your phones are off the hook. Number one thing, don't panic. Why? Well, the biggest thing is, is we want to proactively manage assets versus being reactionary. When you're managing your own money or you're, you're handling your own funds, you might get a little emotionally attached to the losses. The fact of the matter is you don't want to wake up tomorrow morning and automatically sell everything you own. You want to really take empirically of what's going on in the market and really put maybe a stop loss on your, on your, your own portfolio, maybe two, three, four percent lower. Um, that way you're not losing up on the, if, if it does counter correct and go up a little bit more. We've seen, we've seen this past week has been a rough week. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen quite a bit of losses, uh, more than 700 points, mm -hmm. huge day today. Mm -hmm. Why why hold tight? Because we are going to get better. It, it can go up just as easy as it goes down. Yeah, last, out of the last 10 market days, we've had nine negatives. Biggest thing is, is that, as I mentioned, the best thing you want to do is be proactive. So for our clients, for example, we always look uh, with an empirical software that, that guides every investment every day. So we've actually been in position of this drawback for a little over a week now. The biggest thing is, is try to be proactive in your money management. Make sure that if you are in a portfolio that is pretty risky, make sure it matches your, your guidelines and your risk aversion. Is this maybe the first signal that we're seeing that we're going to see a second dip in our economy, a second really hard time, or is it too early to tell? Well, if you look at GDP numbers, uh, first quarter GDP was originally came out at 1.9, it was corrected down to 0.4, so we we're in, a, in almost a contractionary period then. Second quarter GDP was also below two, so we want to make sure GDP is above two uh, consistently over two quarters. If we're below two over two consecutive quarters, it usually signals another recession coming into the next 12 months. So mm -hmm. we do see that there could be another recession coming our way. But just hold tight. Let's not everybody say, yeah. panic. Mm -hmm. Chris, we want to appreciate you coming in. We're going to have much more from our financial experts tonight at 10 and 11, so stay tuned for that. Denise, David? Well, here's some sunshine. This is 77.